Hi friends. This is Jody Renshaw with the Thrifty Pigeon and Studio 36. And we're gonna try something new tonight. There is so much improvising going on right now in order to make a nighttime video happen. The lighting that I'm using over here would make you giggle. Um, why a nighttime video? I'll tell you. I did a whole haul video today, like 40 minutes, and then I watched it back, and I had so much sweat on my upper lip because it was 90 degrees that I there was no way I was posting that. So instead, we have some very strange lighting, like literally like a chicken coop light with um, a plastic bag over it to make it a soft box and hanging off of a chair. You don't want to know how my hair is being held up right now, um, but I really wanted to get this video done. So here I am. The thumbnail is probably still going to be a daytime picture, so you're going to be like, huh? And um, that's okay. We'll still have coffee together. I'll turn my mug around. I drink coffee day and night. Everything's kind of quiet in the house. The dogs are walking around a little bit, but they always do. And it just rained, so it's a nice, quiet night. It's only like, let me see, it's nine o'clock at night. I was going to do a live video just to try it out, and then I found out that you have to let YouTube know 24 hours ahead of time that you're doing a live. Who knew? So maybe tomorrow will be a live video. I'm glad I discovered that before I like scheduled a live one and didn't realize I couldn't do it. So um, anyway, I hope you're all happy and healthy. And I have some goodies to show you. So we'll show them at night with my improvised light and um, with some nice calm and cool air coming from the window. So where shall we start? Well, I'll tell you where I went, and I'll keep blotting. I'll keep blotting if I have, nope, I have a mirror here, and I do not have sweat all over my upper lip. Anything over 70 degrees, I am sweating. So um, I'll, try to, I'll try to manage that better. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So I went to Salvation Army, and um, I thought it was going to be quiet, but now the dog's crying. I went to the Salvation Army and to the Catholic thrift shop, and I got some I got some fun goodies. So this was yesterday, and I also went again today, and my car is full again. So tomorrow, hopefully, I will do a daytime haul. And also know anytime that you watch a haul video of mine, my information is down below and if there's something you see that you want then please email me and we will make it happen and it will be less expensive to do it that way than if i was to list it somewhere that i have to pay fees so um so it's good for both of us that's bailey he's on alert at night he watches me a lot he's crying right now you're okay bud you're okay everything's okay it's just nighttime and I'm talking to the camera at night and that's unusual for you. So we'll start with a funny story. <clears throat> We're four minutes in and I haven't shown you anything yet. So I, at the Catholic thrift store, which is becoming my absolute favorite, I saw these old salt and pepper shakers. And when I picked them up, I was like, Oh, I want to see who the maker is. And so I flipped them over. <laughs> and I got what I think is cinnamon and salt all over the place. So I quickly grabbed some of the salt, threw it over both my shoulders, because I couldn't remember which shoulder it is you're supposed to do it. 
and I told the lady who works there. So these are um, salt and pepper shakers that I grew up with. So I know they're older, but they're just marked made in China at the bottom. So um, nothing fancy, not Tupperware or anything like that, but still vintage and cool. <clears throat> then, he's on alert. I'll be right back. Okay, my son took the dogs into his room, so it's even more quiet. Except that there's a cat <laughs> trying to cough up a hairball. <sighs> okay. All right, so where were we? Salt and pepper shakers. Vintage, cool, yellow. Those were fun, right? And then, what else did I get? So, I got this piece. It looks kind of, it looks cooler in this light, actually, than it did in natural light earlier. But, not but. It does. It looks cool. Um, I can't figure this piece out. I know it's hand-blown, and you can see the pontal is a little messy at the bottom, and a little little bit rough maybe right there and I would think it was a hobbyist piece but who like who keeps who keeps glass blowing materials in their house for funsies I don't know my brother was a glass blower maybe maybe this is like their first attempt at a small pitcher. Maybe this is what it's supposed to be. Maybe this is worth a bajillion dollars because it's this amazing artist. I doubt it. Um, the handle is put on really nice and uh, it's an applied handle and you can see, yeah. Um, what makes me think it's a hobbyist piece is just that the colors are kind of melted into each other and there isn't a real, usually there's like a circular interesting cohesive pattern to some of these and this is kind of all over the place and maybe that was the intention I love it I have no issue with it whatsoever it's beautiful it's blue a beautiful blue inside it's a nice size it just it cost me barely anything and I may end up keeping it or you know maybe I'll ask my brother a little bit more about it but or like I said maybe you know it's some famous artist who who glass blew in this kind of a way so I love it this was a fun find because even if I'm rescuing a hobbyist piece if you've watched any of my videos you know that I love doing that so um so we'll see we'll see and Let's see. Do you remember my last haul had this beautiful mid-century modern plate? And at least I thought it was mid-century modern. Very geometric shapes and sort of this yellow, lime green, and orange. No, it was. I think it was orange. This, I think, would go so well with it. And this was all by its lonesome, and so was that other plate. So I'm thinking together they might make a really neat combo. So probably a live sale, which I was totally going to try to do tonight. Like, just go live to see that I could do it. But, so my point is, a live sale is coming soon, I promise. Um, but yeah, this, I just think this is beautiful. So no, my, no markings on it, so I have no idea who it's made by. Speaking of markings, <laughs> another funny story. This had plenty of markings, but it was not at all what I thought it was going to be. So I come upon, was this Salvation Army? Yes. So I'm at Salvation Army and I come upon this beautiful jar. And I'm thinking it's fairy lamp-esque, obviously not a fairy lamp at all. But, you know, just large, put a candle in it. You know, you can't keep the topper on it. But, I don't know, it was just interesting to me. And then I saw that it, well, first of all, sorry, 
it has this symbol on the front. You know, this lighting is actually better for showing some of this stuff. Maybe all my hauls will be at night. It's going to depend on how good my face looks, though. <laughs> so when I watch this back, if I look like I could be on America's Next Top Model, then I will definitely do nighttime uh, hauls. If I don't, well, we'll see. So this one was signed on the bottom. Harry, Homeworks by Harry, I want to say it's S -S Slef. I ended up looking it up. I can tell you all about it in a minute. But so it said that I got kind of excited. I'm like, this is this is some cool piece, modern, but like probably highly prized. No, I didn't think that, but I just was like, somebody th somebody's going to be looking for this. This is great. So I looked on eBay and yes, people are looking for it and they're paying 30 to $40 for it with the candle inside. So this had a full giant candle, probably two or three wicks inside of it. And obviously the person, I'm red. No. Okay. Obviously the person who purchased it to begin with loved the glass too. So cleaned it all out, all the wax out and made it, you know, candy jar for all I know and they took the ri the rubber rim off and just made it a glass jar so kudos to them for reusing it instead of just tossing it out when the candle was done but no one sells this by itself and so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I have been thinking about a Christmas in July sale and I thought that would be lovely I mean look how lovely it is I'm so glad somebody recycled it and didn't just throw it out when the candle was done. So so there's that. I didn't pay much for it, so we can figure out what to do with it together. Um, you know, I bought pottery. You know I did. This one I got at the Catholic thrift store. And usually I don't see that stuff there, so not this kind of stuff. I usually see this at Goodwill. But here is a plate stand and I love it I love the colors I love how well made it is and then on the back it either says oh, you're gonna be able to see it better I think with this light oh maybe not right around there it's either a name or it's a date if it's a date it's like 2009 but Maybe if it's a name, it's like Zodi <laughs> or Jody. Maybe it was meant for me. So, yeah, I just love it. I love pottery. I mean, look at somebody made that. Somebody made this with their hands. So, you know, that'll go up for sale at some point. I'll have my pottery sale. And then I found this really cool mug. It's supposed to look like cross-stitch. Office, sweet office. It's very dirty. I'm not even going to show you the inside. It's dirty, but it'll clean up easily. It's just somebody didn't wash it. And it's by Des um, American Greetings. So it's stoneware. I just love it. I'm not going to keep it because as you all know, I have way too many mugs. I think you know. And I want to use Ruth's, my buddy Ruth. She bought this special for me. So yeah, these are really cute. All the, the little people going to their works, going to their office. So this will probably be, I'm assuming this will be eBay. Then, I got some other, I think the rest is sort of Christmassy. Wait, I'll just show you the one thing I got for our house for sure. Bird feeder, <laughs> 99 cents. Salvation Army, a little bit bent, but the birds don't care. And I just got into, my husband and I both just got into bird feeding. And how we got into that was actually YouTube. And maybe I'll put the link in. There's this 24, there are a bunch of them, but there's like this 24 hour you can watch the wildlife in this person's backyard 
they call it Critter Cam. There are a few, but we really like Critter Cam. And they have like three different channels all around their yard. So uh, one of them, the one that the cats and dogs love, is the nighttime one with the raccoons and the deer and the um, possums. So, and when I'm sad at night, if I need a pick me up, I watch the raccoons eat because they dunk, they dunk the food in the water. And like they, they walk on their hind legs, grab the food, walk it over to the little fountain that the lady has. The, it's usually a lady I see. And they dunk it and then they just eat it. And I, and I crack up laughing. One night I was really sad and Halise turned it on and just kept saying, honey, watch, look at the raccoons. They're, look at them, look at them dunking their food in the water. So it's my go-to like calm down and that kind of thing. How am I doing on um, sweat? We doing okay on sweat? A little dab, a little dab will do ya. Okay, push the mirror away. I don't need to be seeing myself right now. So I did find some Christmassy things that I love, which is what prompted me to think like, I really need to do a Christmas in July sale. But Christmas stuff sells year round on eBay. You will find that. Easter doesn't, St. Patrick's doesn't, Hallow Halloween does, Halloween does. Uh, Fourth of July doesn't, you know, that kind of thing. But Halloween and Christmas typically sell year round. Um, a little slower at times, obviously, but I think I might do a Christmas in July live sale because of the things, some of the things I just got that I'm excited about. But this pottery piece is just not just, it's an ornament and it's lovely. And I love the waffling going on. Can you see that? Yes, you can. So no signature or anything. It's just sweet. So I don't think I'll keep it only because my Christmas tree really needs less breakable things and more, more non-breakable things. So also found this Pier One Imports crackers, Christmas crackers, paid $2.99 and looked on eBay and these sell for anywhere between uh, $25 to $30. So I'll probably try to sell this there. And if it doesn't move, which I think it will, but if it doesn't, I was thinking I would just put these in, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That I would just put them in um, packages when I when people buy something at the Christmas in July sale or something like that, put one in each package. But it says each one contains a party hat, a joke, <laughs> and a surprise novelty item. So that's kind of fun. That's fun. And this particular design, the snowflake red and white, was not on eBay. So they were selling, there were none, and there were none that had sold. So it might be a little more rare, I don't know. Or, so we'll see. Then this guy, or gal, uh, is Napco wear. I don't generally buy teddy bears. Teddy bears are not my thing. I hope that doesn't upset you. They're cute enough. And he has a cute little bum bum. But um, bum bums are my thing. I do love a good bum bum. But he or she was inexpensive. And I recognized the name. And I knew they were vintage. And even though they don't have a friend, I thought maybe at this price, 49 cents, I would find something for them to do or um, maybe in a in a Christmas uh, themed mystery box or something like that. So that was cute. Now, I'm excited to show these. So I took a picture for Instagram. You might have seen this. Look at these vintage napkins, Christmas napkins. They are so cute and I don't like to use the word cute but come on come on so cute and in excellent condition and they were put though they do not match they were put with this tablecloth no it they called it a tablecloth there's a plane out there 
We live right by the airport. Have I ever told you that? And so they called this a tablecloth. It is not. It, it's like a table mat or for a very small table, a tablecloth. But check this out. This is so amazing. So there it is. Square. And has the original price tag on it. Let's see. Has the maker, the artist name. There you go. Has the original price tag. This might not be that vintage. It might be sort of a reproduction. And the only thing that makes me think that is the tag here, which could still very well be a vintage tag. It's Swedish. Oh. Come on, guys, we got this. There we go. It's a Swedish company. And this very much feels vintage and looks vintage, does not have a date on it. And I mean, it shows do not iron. Oh, do not wash. So it gives you instructions that maybe tell me it's a little more modern than it looks, but it is in perfect condition and I am wild for it. So this will go into a um, Christmas, like a live sale. Look at the goat. Did you see the goat? There's a goat. There's a cat. A couple cats, actually. People just carry around their cats in the snow, apparently. No dogs. Just cold cats. So that was pretty cool. That made me very happy. And then when I went today to the Catholic thrift store, wait till you see they had a gorgeous very vintage tablecloth with all the napkins and the reason i know it's very vintage is because in the packaging there is a note to the housewife on how to care for the linens note to the housewife so these i know are modern but look at them they're called hobnail, wait, Ro uh, Ro Rosher and Company, made in China. I'm making shadows when I go to, okay. And called Hob the Hobnail Collection. But once I was in the Christmas spirit, these just screamed Christmas. Like they screamed it. And they're gorgeous they're really nice weight i don't know if rosher and company is anything fancy in any way but i had to have these look at the dots mm. i love them i think what's left are books so if you don't like books one you should rethink your life Two, you can leave if you want, but you shouldn't because you should love books. So I have some vintage books and some more modern and I'll tell you why I bought them. I grabbed this one at um, the Catholic thrift store because I thought maybe it had resale value. It does. It's, I think I maybe $10, something like that. So I'll probably put that on eBay. These two I bought, these three, these four, these five, these five, I think that's it. These five I bought for me to read on um, my channel. So this one is a local author who's a sweetheart, Josh Alves. So um, he has done Comic Cons with me and he's just, he's, he's a dear guy. So I hope to promote this, Lily Bristol. And I, you know, I read Christmas stories, uh, countdown to Christmas, maybe you don't know, but I do countdown to Christmas stories uh, for the month of December on my YouTube channel. So that's why I grabbed that because it's a new one. I try to do new ones every year. And then I wanted to read Salt in His Shoes. The, it, this is Michael Jordan. Yeah, I wanted to read that for the channel. And then 
Who couldn't see this book and not want to read it? The Bad Seed. Maybe I should read it tonight. Do a nighttime reading. Look at the back. There is a bad seed. He's not so bad. He's not so bad. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. He's a sunflower seed, right? I look forward to finding out why he's bad. And then the angry octopus, which is a relaxation story. And I was looking, it's by, um, she creates stories to help children learn to have peace inside themselves. So I thought maybe I could gently read this on YouTube someday. And now we'll get into the vintage books. So I got a couple of these. These are fun. So workbooks, old workbooks. I used to use these. And I still used them when I homeschooled my son. I mean, letters don't change. Not yet. So we used these quite a bit. And I thought maybe somebody could use them for paper ephemera. They're really neat. This one I'll sell by itself at the Christmas uh, in July sale. Hopefully I can pull that together. And it's homemade holiday fun Christmas crafts for children. This was night. This is by Current, if you remember the old Current catalogs. And it's 19. Oh, I want to say it was 80. Oops, maybe it doesn't say. 1980. Yeah, 1980. So this is really neat. Fun things to make and do. And I like the graphics. I love that it's all red text and red graphics. So that'll be in an upcoming sale. I found an old coloring book. You draw, you finish the drawing, you learn how to draw, and then you color. Yeah. So that's probably going to go with the other two vintage workbooks. Most of the time, Maxi is a Xerox. Do you remember when Xerox put books out? Can you see that? There we go. Do you remember what Xerox is? <laughs> and how's my, how's my sweat doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's still hot out. We'll do a little dab. I should just keep powder here. So I love the illustrations in here. And this is, I believe, from the 80s as well. I love these hardcover books. Now, uh, 1974, so the year after I was born. Then this one, I love the graphics in here. Or the illustrations, I should say. It's a dictionary. So this could really be put to use for people who need or want paper ephemera. There were some that I really liked. Now I don't know where they are. I like the ones with people. And they have a nice diversity of people. So, yeah, that's cool. And this one is not vintage. But I'm going to put it in the um, Christmas in July sale. It was originally $13. And I think it, I want to say it was 2000 2004, so it's almost vintage. It almost passes the mark. But one of the things I loved about this is look at the sparkles on the cover. Well, they go throughout the whole book. So it's really well done. This is in nice shape and it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let me see if I can find another... Oh, when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. So that'll be in the Christmas in July sale that I hope to have. Wait till you see this one. Okay, if you've stayed, you're 
you are in luck because this is a felted book. Peter Rabbit went to the circus, felted and sparkles, and it is in perfect condition. The only issue, if you want to call it an issue, is that Michael, Michael's parent wrote their name in cursive on it. But cursive is gorgeous. Oh my God, look at these ladies. Look at them. You don't have to look at the clown. Oh my gosh. There's another plane. It's very busy. Very busy. Oh, with his mommy. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I've never seen any book like this. I mean, I think I did as a kid, but I have not seen one since. And the date is 1972, so the year before I was born. So that, I don't know where I should put this one for sale. It was 39 cents originally. And then we have a golden book that I'll use to make a journal out of, The Elves and the Shoemaker. Then we have a couple of um, I Can Read books. I loved Mouse Soup. And these just, oh, I love the feel of these. And then there's another weekly reader book that I had never seen. I read these voraciously, but this one is a chapter book. And I was thinking like, I don't ever remember reading weekly reader chapter books like this. So I thought, did I just go from like reading this to Judy Bloom? Maybe, maybe, I probably did. I was, I was growing fast. So look at their faces though. I had to have it. And I don't know, this person's a little worried. This little mouse. Look at them with their sewing needles as swords. So that, that'll have to go in a lot. And then, two, I have three more. This one has a uh, book jacket. So I've taken the book jacket off, but it's, it's in better condition than I've seen a lot of them in. But yes, it's still not in great condition. The book itself, this is tricky. So apparently somebody was trying to sell it for $5. And I'm wondering if it's an antique store or like maybe a dealer at a flea market or something. And at one, I'm sure it was worth way more than that if it was in better condition. But The Valiant Little Tailor, a Bonnie book, illustrated by Dolly Tingle. There's a name. Dolly Tingle. Watch this. The book cover is in great condition. <laughs> it's just missing the insides. And the insides, great condition. I just don't know how to put them back together. Because it looks like they were stitched in. So, anywho. Somebody could either fix this or use the illustrations as paper ephemera for whatever you, I use uh, paper ephemera in my art. And this is probably not something I would use, not yet, anyway, the king. But I just love this so much. I had to have it as broken as it was. It's definitely redeemable, definitely. Seven at one blow. So maybe somebody knows how to fix it. Maybe somebody doesn't want to fix it. They want to tear it apart. Um, but there it is. So, okay. Second to last. Have you seen the gentleman who takes pencils and creates art out of the tips? His name is uh, Salivant Fide, if I'm saying that right. And crazy amazing. I mean, you're looking at this and you're like, all right, that's doable. But I wish I had a pen. Do I have a pencil? Do I have a pencil? Yes, I do, right here. Guys. Wait. He sharpens the tip of a pencil and then makes something like, something like, the Statue of Liberty on it. 
What? What? So this is a bunch of his work. Oh, look at Rango from the movie Rango. Look at the detail on a pencil tip. So I looked, I looked everywhere to see comps for this and to see how to sell it. And I couldn't find anything. Could not find anything for sale anywhere. We're going to dab. Okay, my camera just shut off. So I don't know where we were. I think I was dabbing. So this I couldn't find anywhere. And finally, you know, I was I just tried some different searches, non-selling searches, and I found that this was a book that he gave away on Kickstarter for a project he was doing. So if you paid like I think it was $75 or something like that towards his Kickstarter, he would send you the book. So I don't see any for sale. I don't know what it's worth. I may put it up. I don't really want to put it up for auction. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Because sometimes I do buy it now on eBay and then something will sell. Like I'll put buy it now for $23 because I don't know what it's worth. And it will sell in a second. And then I recognize like, oh man, less than a minute it sold. So somebody was waiting for it and probably would have paid a little more for it. If I'm still making money, that's fine. But Mama wants to get back to Jersey. So I need more money. For those of you who are new here, I love vacationing in Jersey. You can judge that all you want. I love Jersey. I love Philly. I love cities. So that I think is... I don't know. We'll see. But lastly, I had to show you this book. And in the first video I made earlier today, where I then watched it back and I was sweating so bad I had to remake it, um, I read this book. Whoops. I read this book aloud. And I think that I'll just do that on a separate occasion because it was an awkward ending to the video, I feel like. But... These are the authors of the book. They're from Croatia. Three friends who decided they had an idea and they put it together. And Scholastic, whoops, okay, there I am. Scholastic bought the idea and created the book. And it is <laughs> How to Get a Girlfriend. How to Get a Girlfriend. It got the Kids Are Authors Award. I didn't even know there was such a thing. So this is funny. And this is funny. And I'll read it. I'll read it again at another time. So we got through it, my friends. We got through it in the dark. You know what? Maybe next time I hold like a spooky candle. But that will be for our Halloween sale. Or just a Friday night. <laughs> Um, I don't think I have anything else to show you. So what I'm going to do now is go watch this video to make sure the lighting is good enough and to make sure I'm not sweating everywhere and that I look like um, a Swedish model with this lighting. And if all is well, you'll see this in the morning. And we can pretend it's morning together and have a sip of coffee. Coffee anytime. Coffee anytime. Black, always. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. I got a ton of compliments on my earrings um, today. Everywhere I went. Everywhere I went. So I will tell you if you like them, because you may... I don't know, maybe you like them and you were going to compliment me, because I swear to you, everybody did today, and it was lovely. My dentist. By the way, my teeth are clean. Anyway... They were from AliExpress and they were like a couple dollars. So um, I don't know what, how you'd look them up though. I'll have to find a link. If you want, I will give you a link. If you think they're hideous, maybe don't tell me because here I am thinking these are glorious. 
So I love you so much. Thank you for being here. And thank you for supporting me in whatever way that you do. And if there's a way I can support you, please let me know. Love you. Bye for now.